Math, lesson 139. Welcome back, everyone. We're happy to see you again. Can you all say hello? Hello. Hello. Let's begin, as we always do, with our meditation. With our meditation. So have a seat and begin with two fingers that we'll use to find our heart center. Our heart center. Good. Focus your energy first at your heart center. You know what to do. Are the hands open in our laps? We're on our desk. Breathe in deep. And out. Close your eyes. Try and relax your body. Allow your energy to focus at your chest center. And meditate with me. Once we're able to feel it, boom, boom, here at our heart center, we can relax our hands. Observe the feeling, focus of energy at your heart center. We want to hang on to that feeling throughout our meditation, throughout our day. We're keeping focused at our heart center, observing the weight of energy. We can begin to direct that energy towards the palms of our hands as well as we move further into our meditation. We're keeping focus at our heart center, serving the warm weight of energy, focus at our chest and the palms of our hands. We're feeling peaceful and happy, We're ready to begin our lesson together.
Nice work, everyone. We'll slowly open our eyes, come out of our meditation together, taking three deep breaths. One, two, and three. Very good. Up on your feet. We'll do our warm up together. First, yeah, stretch up. Show me a nice big stretch up towards the sky. Ooh. Big stretch. Ooh. That's not a big stretch. Show me a big stretch. There you go. Feel it. Feel it in your arms. Ooh, so tall. So tall. Very good. And then shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. Ready? Like a dive. Ready? Like you're diving into a swimming pool. Stretch down, touch your toes. Don't bend your knees. Big stretch into your legs. As far as you can, reach. Big stretch. And then shake it out. Shake, shake, shake it out. Good. All right, ready? Step left. Step right. Step backwards. Turn around. Good. Step forward. Jump two times. Step backwards. Step left. Step left. Crisscross. Crisscross. Step right. Step right. Crisscross. Crisscross. Step forward. Jump two times. Step backwards. Jump four times. Good. Step left. Step right. Step left. Step right. Turn around. Crisscross. Turn around. Crisscross. Turn around. Crisscross. Turn around. Crisscross. Okay, good, good. I'll do it. You do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. That was almost perfect. Good. Okay. Ready for a new one? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty good. I am smart. I am strong. I am strong. I am kind. Today is a good day. Today is a good day. Very good. Have a seat, show me hands on head. Hands on no. <coughs> hands on head. <laughs> hands on nose. 
arms. Hands on shoulders. Hands on ears. Hands on eyes. Hands on knees. Hands on toes. Hands on nose. Hands on head. Hands on mouth. Hands on hair. Hands on eyebrows. Good. Good. Hands on hips. Hands on stomach. Hands on back. Who remembers back? Good, your back. Good. Hands on head. Hands on desk. We are still talking about our missing add-ins. Right? When we have an equation, subtraction, or addition, and we have an I don't know number. Right? First, I want us to look at the addition and the subtraction side by side. Right, because it's not the same. The way that we solve them is not quite the same. So first, we learned our plus. If we had, let's say, nine plus, I don't know, equals 11. Mm, very good, very good. But how did we solve this, right? We took our equals our biggest number, right? And we brought it down, right? Then we changed, we didn't do addition. We changed into minus. We took away what we already have, right? 11 minus nine equals? Six. Two, it does equal two. So we figured out our I don't know, right? We moved our equals down. We took away what we already have, all right? We know how to do that. Last lesson, we learned how to solve subtraction equations in the same way. So now what if we had 11 minus, oh, whoa, Shelby. Teacher Shelby, I don't know. Equals six, all right? Very good. But so we solve it a little differently, right? This is plus, this is minus, right? It's not the same, very good, it's not the same. So with our minus, do we move our equals down? Is that what we do? No, right? Our, our subtraction, our minus is easier. All we do is switch, right? All we do is flip-flop our I don't know with our no, right? It's not the same as how we solved this one, right? It's not the same. We flip-flop our I don't know, so we just bring down, keep the subtraction, this is the same, and we flip-flop our I don't know. What is 11 minus six? It does equal five, very good. All right? <clears throat> These are both missing add-in, but we don't solve them the same. Right? When we have an addition, when we see a plus, that's when we bring our equals and then minus what we know. When it's already subtraction, it's easier. All we do is flip-flop our known and unknown. Okay? We're going to look at two more together. So if we had... Minus, I don't know, was three, all right? Is this minus or plus? This is minus, so what do we do? Do we move the equals? No, it's already a minus, it's easier. All we do when it's a minus, switch our I don't know with our no, right? That's all we do. Bring down the nine. Keep the minus. 
What is nine minus three? Who knows? Six. 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 Right. Take away three. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Six. All right. Whereas if we had an addition, we had a plus, like eight plus, I don't know, equals 12. Is this plus or minus? Plus. This is addition. So what do we do? We bring our equals. This is when we bring our equals down. Take away what we know. This changes. This is not the same. What is 12 minus 8? It does equal 4. Does equal 4. 4. Okay? Not quite the same. Not quite the same, right? So today, just like last lesson, we are focused on subtraction, all right? So today's a little bit easier. When we have subtraction, all we do is switch our I don't know with our no, right? That's all we do when we're solving missing add-ins for subtraction. That's what we're gonna practice today, all right? Okay, next, together, we are going to play a game. Yay! A game. All right, if you guys remember this game, it's called our fire drill game. Right? You all are going to solve together with me a subtraction equation on the board here, a missing added. Right? Once you're finished, you'll hear Teacher Shelby go five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right? And in that time, you all have to get up and find a new seat. All right, and you have to be sitting by the time I get to zero, all right, or else it's not good, okay? Here is your answer sheet. This is where you guys are gonna solve your equations, all right? So follow along with this and, and copy from the board, all right? I'll pass out the sheets now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, so nicknames first. Good. Okay, now that we have our sheets and a pencil, all right, follow along. Teacher Shelby will help you look. This is number one, all right? So number one on your answer sheet. I want you guys to copy and solve for me. 13 minus, I don't know, equals seven. It's a subtraction. So all we do is flip our I don't know with our no. I got it. Good. Okay, good. Now copy this. Same, same. 13 minus. Right. Copy it. 13 minus. You don't have 13 fingers. Let me get. Does anybody else want a number line? No. Okay. <laughs> you want one? No, 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 no. Okay. Me, me, me. Me, no, no, no. Anybody? Anybody? Me, you want one? Number mm -hmm. Come on, Tia. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, it's you. So what we do is. Copy this, same, same. 13 minus, oh my gosh, what we know, seven. Yeah, All right, sorry, that's a 13. Nero, 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 Nero. All right, so 13. Backwards seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Equals what? Uh, six. Yeah. Good. Okay, everyone, let's take a look at it. You brought your 13 down. Take away what you know you have. Equals what? 13 minus 7 equals 6. Very good. We count backwards for that one, right? Take away 7, 13, 12, 11, 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six. six. All right, you guys got it? got it? All right, now get your paper and your pencil. Five, four, three, two, one, zero! <laughs> All right, okay, ready for number two? Number two. All right. Copy and solve for me. Ten minus, I don't know, equals four. It's already subtraction. All we do is flip flop our I don't know with our no. Oh, I see. Very fast. Nice. Yeah. Start at ten. Ten. Backwards four. Ten backwards four. Ten. No, so you're going backwards. It's minus backwards. Backwards. Yeah. Backwards. It's minus one. Two. Just four. Okay, let's take a look at it. Right? We bring down our ten. We flip flop our I don't know. What is ten minus four? It does equal six. Very good. Six again. Got it? Got it. All right. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, zero. Okay, number three. Copy and solve for me. Eight minus, I don't know, equals two. I didn't even mean to. Right, so write, write for me eight. No. Eight. So we move this down. Eight minus. Don't tell him. Two. All right, so find me eight. Find me eight. Show me eight. Good. Now backwards two. Take away two. Backwards. One, two. Mm hmm. Six equals six. Equals six. Very good. Subtraction already. All we do is flip flop. Eight minus two equals what? Again. It does. It equals six. Very good. Got it? Five. Four. Number four, ready? Four. You guys want a hard one? Let me give you a hard one. Fifteen minus, I don't know, equals nine. I'm not even doing that on purpose. <laughs> I'm not doing that on purpose. It just keeps happening that way. <laughs> He can do it. He knows how to do it. I know, many, many. Okay, let's take a look at it. Bring down our 15. 
flip flop. 15 minus 9. It does. Let's look at it. 9. Mr. Shelby only has 9 fingers. <laughs> How perfect. All right. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Good. 6. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, solve and copy for me. Let's do 14 minus, I don't know, equals seven. 14 minus, I don't know, equals 7. Very good, Nania. All right, bring down our 14. Take away 7. Does. 7. Begin with 14. 13. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Good. You know it's equal 7. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Number 6. Show me 10 minus. I don't know. I don't know. Equal one. Equals one. Mm -mm. Easy. Equals one. Nine. Does. Easy, right? Bring down our 10. Flip flop. Minus one. Easy. Nine. It's nine. Nine. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Number seven. Copy and solve for me. 16 minus, I don't know, equals nine. Got to count backwards on this one. Going to Kuntep? By Kuntep. All right, let's take a look at it. This is a big one. Bring down our 16. Take away 9. Take away 9. 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Eight, seven, seven, very good, five, four, three, two, one, zero, show me, twelve, take away, I don't know, equals four. Okay, we bring down our 
twelve. We take away four. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Good. Five. Number nine, show me 20 minus, I don't know, equals 12. Easy. Easy? Bring our 20 down. Take away 12. We count backwards 12 times. What's 20 minus 12? Equal eight. Eight, good. Eight. Good job. Ready? Five. Number 10. <laughs> 19. Take away, I don't know, <laughs> equals 5. 19. Take away, I don't know, <laughs> equals 5. <laughs> Close. Six, fourteen. Very good. Bless you. Make your subtraction equation. Nineteen. Take away five. We take away five. We start at 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Good. 14. If we can count backwards, it's easy. Ready? Five, four, three. Zero! <laughs> Number 11 on our sheet is where we're writing. Okay. Copy and solve for me. Seven. Take away, I don't know, equals one. Right? Bring down our seven. Switch our I don't know. Seven minus one equals six. Easy. <laughs> it is like a computer. Five, four, three. Two, one, zero. Let's do 18 minus, I don't know, equals five. Flip flop your I don't know with what you know. Go away. 
Okay, good, Nadia. Good. We bring down our 18. Flip, flop what we know. 18, take away five. Take away five. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, good. Eighteen, take away thirteen equals five. Very good. All right, now you go back to your desk. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Very good. Thank you. Okay, the last thing for this lesson, just like last time, does this look familiar? Right? Practice, practice, practice. Just like our examples together, these are subtraction, missing add in. Right? Some, a number minus, I don't know, equals another number. All right? Over here, you write your flip flop. Subtraction equation, right? Just like we've been doing together. I want you guys to finish this independently. If you finish early, you can color, all right? And then join us back here for goodbye. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, hi, I'm Violet. Oh, there's no nickname on this one. Who's is this? Shocking. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Just like we've been practicing. Good. Show me the flip flop subtraction equation. Solve the missing add end. Good. You want a color? You want a color? No. It's cool. You don't have to. Oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can sit quietly. Crayon. Would you like to crayon? Color with crayons? Okay. Would you like to color? Perfect, you. Very good. So proud of you, too. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Thank you. What color? 
White. White, very good. Mmm, mixing colors, I like it. Red pants, fancy. Ooh. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Looks like a looks like Charlie Brown. Black and orange. Mm-hmm. I like the red and the black. Very good. Ooh. Black and orange. Good. Finished? Yeah. Hello. Hi. You're so cute. How'd you get so cute, huh? Fingernail. I know, I need to clip it, huh? I always break them. That's going to wrap up today's math lesson. Can you all say goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.